What I found exciting in the natural field is to discover what else is possible. When we look at quantum physics, quantum physics is about possibility and so consequently we're wanting to discover, I wonder if we can do this better. Is it, could it be done in a new way rather than in a fixed way? And particularly the field of optometry which I've been in and look there are some fantastic optometrists around but it becomes very caught up in the old traditions. There's nothing wrong with traditions, but they get stuck in patterns, and unfortunately those patterns become very habitual. You know, the consulting room is in a little dark room with a black and white chart, no depth, no color, no space, no movement. Close one eye, close the other, and you relegate it to that, and that's what they're saying is vision. A typical day in my clinic is everything and anything. <laughs> I never know what's gonna happen from one day to the next. Yes, there are days where you're pushed to the limits, but then at the same time, you have amazing experiences with those people who come along. The natural aspect of things is to put into account the color, the space, the movement, the posture, the balance. What about thoughts? What about emotions? What about feelings? How does that all come into the picture? Hence, with the work which I did and through Quantum University, the opportunity to bring about a piece of work that allows that what I call the construct, which is like a holographic construct about possibility. All energy, all waves, all standing waves, kinetic waves, they all interface with each other through consciousness. However, if we allow consciousness to direct things, these parameters which may seem as though they have no relationship to each other, through consciousness they will start to self-organize. And so what I do with lens, lens will focus the detail, that's a point focus, but prism will redirect the spatial context, so we're not just looking at detail in isolation, but we're looking at detail in integration. We have to ask the simple questions. Questions of connection, not, oh, you don't know, but rather find the question that that person does start to know, that we start to get a sense of possibility for that person, because once that person starts to sense that they can, then, the momentum or the flow of the system will start to change. So there is this quantum entanglement. In other words, it's this interaction. I look at people every day. What are you going to show me? Even though they're excited to find out what they're going to discover about themselves. So yeah, there's a lot in it. But if we keep it sweet and simple, it's going to be pretty phenomenal. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.